President-elect Donald Trump uh, picking some battles these days, first with U.S. intelligence, specifically the CIA, over the issue of Russian hacking in the election. And today he took on a huge defense contractor, Lockheed Martin. Steve Handel has been following it all tonight from Washington. Steve? Devin, Lockheed Martin stock prices plunged after Trump called the company out and bragged he will save our nation billions. Donald Trump is slamming the most expensive weapons program in history. The new F-35 by Lockheed Martin, an initial cost $300 million a plane. Out of control, Trump tweeted. Billions of dollars will be saved on military and other purchases after January 20th when he takes office. In a new diss of the CIA, Trump called in former CEO Carly Fiorina to discuss U.S. intelligence. She has no experience. We talked about uh, hacking, whether it's Chinese hacking or purported Russian hacking. The CIA, but not the FBI, assesses that Russia's hackers intended to hurt Hillary Clinton and help Trump in the election. Trump scoffing at that. I don't believe it. Was rejected today at the White House. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. The former head of the CIA is appalled at Trump. He said the intelligence community on which he will rely is incompetent, politicized, and frankly, he didn't have a lot of time for them. That's not a winning formula for him. Congress will investigate. This simply cannot be a partisan issue. I think we ought to uh, work to deter the Russians, sanction the Russians. Trump's sending the opposite signal, talking up for Secretary of State, ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson, who's cut deals with Vladimir Putin. I think this is getting blown way out of proportion. It can be looked upon as an asset, not a liability. No Trump decision announced for Secretary of State. If it is Tillerson, senators up here in both parties warn confirmation could be tough. From Capitol Hill, Steve Handelsman, Local 4. All right, Steve. Uh, also tonight, sources inside the transition team say Michigan GOP Chair Ronna Romney McDaniel is expected to be Trump's pick to lead the Republican National Committee, though as of right now, no official word on an announcement.